Victor brought his bucket truck down. We got to peel this big thing apart here. Maybe Nate needs you to do a bit of work in here. Vicky can just drop that stuff straight down. Because we got lines here and that. Yeah. But we'll start over here. We'll just get these fellas to move their truck. I'm just going to spin this stuff all in here, one by one. It's a big, dirty hedge. Hey, we're going to take it all down and block it all up. But we're back on this property of where that big cedar tree I knocked down. Remember that? It's got that. Uh, Got like 20,000 views right now for some strange reason. I only did it a month ago. I don't understand. This one, remember? Remember this property? It's called I'm Gonna Cut a Tree Down, I think. I think that's the name of the video. It's a big, it's a four foot cedar. You knock it over with wedges. Or, so we'll catch you guys in a few minutes. We got a lot of work to do and we got started a little bit later. This is where my 372s, um, it, it's just, in the end for production, they're faster. They just are. You know, like here's one here we need to put in over here. But but watch the bucking here. It, it just there's no match to it. And look at the change. Right? You know what I mean? Like look at the chain. It, it's it's literally down to nothing. Okay, that's when you cut the fastest. Think about that for a second. That's when you cut the fastest. Look at. Okay. I just kind of, I'm right on the edge there now. Look at that line comes straight back, straight back. But my point being is, uh, here I'll show you what I mean. This is what I'm talking about here. They're just fast, really fast. Well, behold the woodman's woodshed.
chewing through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are just mantles because they're right in the line here, you see. So that's the way it's gotta be. Well ah, friends you gotta blow the cobwebs off the orange ones once in a while. They sure cut nice, these 372s, boy. I hit a nail in there, I could feel it shattering a little bit. Not too bad, but it was there. Just a couple of strokes to get that thing cutting again, and we'll go. This, this chain is, uh, in pretty rough shape, friends. It's getting near its end of its life, but there's still quite a bit of good cutting left in it. I like the old 372s, they got the flat back, you can get your chest right on it. Yeah, see, look at these. These are almost at the line, friends. That's when it helps to give a little, little boat show. Oh yeah, there's one there. A couple little down sweeps. Oh yeah. There we go. I think that's it for that side. Yeah, it is. Good. Hey, what do you think? It's 
saws on an angle like that, so you got to compensate for it. This bar needs a little help too. See nothing no more, friends. I haven't run this saw in a while. Sure like the old boat technique. Sure gets that gullet real quick. Just a couple, friends. Two or three. And then straighten out again. You know what I mean? It just... There we go. Even two. Do you know what I mean? Like if you just went like that, you're getting the outside of the gullet. But if you go like this, you're getting the whole ditch. You're creating a big ditch. And and that'll that's from just going the old school way. You'll get it. But it'll just take you more strokes. It's not imperative that you keep your file dead straight. It's just not. You can tell, obviously, by what I'm doing. I mean, let's be honest. The proof's in the pudding, is it not? Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. Let's go use it.
Super nice little axe. I love this axe. Done. Hell out of day. 